amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well, we need a bigger boat. <laughs> I've got my Mr. Bombastic. Bombastic. <laughs> and that's about sneeze, cough, eat anything or sit down. I think I'll be fine. It's a bit like being married to me. <laughs> Just goes on and on and on and on. <laughs> Are we frustrated boaters or what? Hey, we're coming to look at the world famous aqueduct. It's first thing in the morning, it is 25 to 10. The sun has actually made an appearance and Mrs Bonneville is on her social media. Give her a follow, Instagram, Twitter and all that stuff. But yeah, we are at the world famous aqueduct in Trevor Basin in North Wales, Langothlin. Just gonna come and have a little look around and see what is what. So as I say, this is gonna be a right mishmash uh, weekly vlog. Um, house sale is progressing well, all that stuff. This is Bonneville, look, still on a <laughs> social media. I'm, just, I'm trying to actually write where we are. I can't just spell it. Wales. <laughs> just put Wales. Wales, everyone will know. <laughs> right, we will see you when we get down into uh, Trevor Basin. Oh, and by the way, it's got nothing to do with me being, well, it has actually, but it is actually pronounced Trevor, not Trevor. So, Trevor Basin. Uh, I've got my Mr. Bombastic. Bombastic. <laughs> now you see, dear viewer, a few years ago, Mrs. Bonneville would never, ever, if I'd have mentioned getting a bum bag, never, I would have been limping for a month. Never. But now she's given over to it. I so, think it's because I think it's because I'm getting in my fifties. I just do these things. I think it's because yeah. she's given up and married me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. If anyone does know what that. I'm going to assume it's got something to do with the aqueduct, uh, aqueduct, sorry, the maybe, I don't know, people who built it, don't know. But uh, let us know, really seriously, let us know what that is all about. This is Bonneville, look. She said to me she's only going to do an hour a day on social media. You've got a tail with your bum bag. <laughs> yeah, but I've got, I've got, I've got Twitter and I've got Instagram, so I've got to do them both, haven't I? She gets up in the morning, the first thing she says to me is, got to do me Instagram and Twitter, so leave me alone for the day. <laughs> Joking. Right, we'll pick back up when we, uh, well, we don't know where we're going, but when we get to where we're going. Oh, it's a lovely day, but this is Bonneville Look's got a foundry boots on. Yeah. It's not, it's not quite warm enough yet, it's only July. It's only, got me sandals. It's only July, I'm not quite ready to take no, them off yet. Been, Never ready. Oh, I can see a canal. I can see a canal on the right. Look, 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 look. This is what it's all about. Oh, yeah. It's this. It's yes, we don't want to disturb any of, the, of our future boater friends. But let me just uh, show you where we are. So we've parked in, if anyone that does want to come here, we've parked in the overflow car park, which is only about half a mile away. Um, followed the signs for the aqueduct. And then you literally... Well, you come down on the canal, and then here's where we are, look. Do you know what? So many people, so many people have asked uh, why we're doing this. I'm sorry, I know everyone's got their own motivation, but this is, this is one of mine. I wanna be debt free, uh, I want a different way of life. I'm 52 years old, I've done me stuff, I've done me stuff. Um, life has dealt me a few rough hands, won't get into that, but this is why I wanna spend some time with my wife, relaxing. Right, we'll pick back up in a minute. Enough bladder. Look, oh, down there. It's like Well Deck Diaries, pointy finger. Uh, why would you not want to moor here or spend a few days here i mean look at that chap behind beautiful absolutely beautiful she just said to me is this a good picture for a social media she thinks more about social media than me now I tell you 
you've just followed the signs to the aqueduct and you arrive at the basin, the Trevor Basin here, where all the boats are. We're going to have a little look around, do a bit of filming in a minute, but we're going to take it in first. See you in a minute. Goodbye. I think it's down here and turn left, I think. Let's have a look. As you say guys, you come out of the basin, follow the signs, and um, you're there. Right, we're about to go and walk over the aqueduct, which I've said again, and I'll say probably another million times, can't pronounce it. But here we go. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Wow, what a feat of engineering this is. Simply stunning. Huh, wow. Oh, I'm right proud of Mrs. Bonneville. She uh, wants to turn around, but I'm just going to go walk over it, guys. Bless her. She really, really doesn't do heights. I'm such a big wuss. <laughs> I just don't, I just don't do it. Once I got on there and I got about a few hundred yards I just I just couldn't do it I just froze but yeah I just froze I just froze because it's far too high and I just you know when your just legs go like jelly and everything so I just had to come back so I let Mr Bonneville go so I'm not very good with heights at all but when you come on here on a canal boat which we will hopefully at some point I shall just be down below with the curtains closed probably having a gin <laughs> And that is me, I've walked over it. When we get our boat, well there's a couple of things that uh, I know. I'll probably be um, taking it across because as I say, I didn't think Mrs Bonneville uh, would get as far as she did, so 10 out of 10, because I don't suffer from um, a fear of heights, but Mrs B does, so I, I've got so much respect for that. Um, but anyway, I... Uh, We'll be taking our boat at some point over that, there's no doubt about it. Uh, wonderful. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll FaceTime Mrs. Bonneville, see if she's okay before I walk back over. Bear with, here she is. <laughs> Let's FaceTime her. Hello. I can't see you. Oh, sorry, I'm listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming you. <laughs> Um, I've just got to the other side and I'm just yeah. waiting for this couple to uh, walk over and I'm going to come back, my love. I couldn't, I couldn't do it because I just froze. That's all right, love. I'm proud of you getting as far as you did. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, that's a bit... Too... I think when you're in a boat, it won't be as bad because you can just... You can close your eyes and shut the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> right. Listen, that's I will... That's <laughs> I'll see you when I get back. Bye. All right, bye. bye. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Bless her. Right, I'm going to start walking back, guys. See you in a momento. Goodbye. Do you know, the only thing, the only thing spoiling this is, of course, Mrs B not being with me, but we know why. The other is I'd love to see a boat. I would love to see a boat coming along here. I really would. Hey-ho. Right, I'm going to walk back, guys. See you in a minute. We do that. I think I think we'll be all right. There was a bit of bow thrust thing going on there. There was there, something there? going on there. Just going to get lots of fenders and stuff um, for the boat to protect it. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> tell you one thing, going over this aqueduct, who's going to be on the tiller? I'm going to be. I'm going to be probably sat on. Just one of us going to be. <laughs> she's going to be on the cassette. <laughs> We're going to go and have a look down. See if we can get a little bit, well, not closer, but just a different shot of the aqueduct. Right, see you in a minute. I've got my flip-flops on, so I need to... <laughs> and Mrs Bonneville's got her foundry boots on. 
By the way, somebody did say, do I ever get bored of all the compliments? No, because my wife is the prettiest wife in Wales, without a doubt. She is one beautiful woman and I love her, even Aww. though she's Yorkshire. She never tells me she loves me, but you just have to take my word for it. Our marriage is strong. You're not going to pick it up. Sorry. But uh, we're on, what's this little walk called, Mrs B? Aqueduct view or something? Uh, uh, it's a viewpoint, so it gives you that. It gives you the view that we're looking at there of the actual viaduct, you know, from... Aqueduct. The, what did I say? Viaduct. Um, she said Muriel the other day. Aqueduct. Aqueduct is above water and a viaduct is above a road. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know that. I know I know that from cruising the cut. <laughs> oh, it's really nice here. And it would be really exciting to go over the viaduct. Aqueduct. But I wouldn't be steering. It's very scary. So it's just really nice to be out in the sunshine. We haven't had yeah, sunshine for about a week or so, have we? Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Right, as I say, onwards. It's a bit of a mishmash vlog this week, but um, we wanted to come, I wanted to come and walk over this bad boy, and I'm so glad I've done it. Right, see you in a minute. We're going to go probably to, well, we are, we're going to go to Nantwich Marina. So we'll pick back up with you when we get to Nantwich. Is that a plan, Mrs B? She's never been right. <laughs> well, we made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. As you can see, it is a beautiful day. Mrs. Bonneville is over here. Took me, took my jacket off and my boots, and I've got my slimbles on. She's yeah. taken her jacket off and she's just got her, uh, she's still got a bum bag on, look. Yeah, but I haven't moved the tail. Where's the tail? Oh, the there you go. Right, Venetian Marina and Twitch. Let's go and have a look. Well, here we are, Venetian Marina. It's very nice. It's very, very nice, yeah. yeah it's lovely. It's very, it's obviously it's tiny compared to Mercia, but it's really, really pretty. Yeah. I'll just pan around, guys, and show you what we're looking at. It's lovely. You know what was going to happen. I think we've watched enough different we have. vlogs. Yeah, watched we watched so many vlogs that we just, we hopefully should know something yeah. now. Anyway, there's a boat coming in. Forgive our pronunciation, but Cholmonston Lock. <laughs> you say it again because it's funny when you say it. Cholmondston Lock. I just have to have a long gap in it. It says you from Yorkshire. Cholmondston. Ch wherever. That's where we are. Right, we're going to have a walk that way. Yeah, past Venetian Marina. Yeah. And let's see what is what. Yeah, let's just see. Mesh, mash vlog. Hello. Hello. I don't know why you're whispering, there's nobody here, but you're right. Mrs. Bonner was absolutely right. That's why we've turned around, guys. We didn't want to... People are living in. This is going to be us soon, but obviously on the marina, so... Yeah. Oh, and if you could sprinkle any magic dust over Mrs. Bonneville, because when we get on the marina, she wants a super birth. I'd like a super birth, and eventually. This is lovely, though. Let me just see if I can show you the pontoon. This is a lovely view of a pontoon, guys. Yeah, so, quick look at Venetian Marina in Nantwich. Lovely, really, really nice. Yes, we, um, we had a really nice time at Venetian Marina. Really nice time. And um, we are currently on our way down to 
Crick A, B and B to look at some boats. And what else did we get up to this week, Mrs. Bonneville? Well, Mrs. Bonneville started to do some packing. <gasps> yes, and by the way, look, we're having a drive through. We've succumbed, we've succumbed to one. <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, we're on our way to A, B and B boats to have a look at some boats. And Mrs. Bonneville did some packing. Yes, she started to uh, get stuff organised. Right, what do you want from the McDonald's, my love? Hello, good morning. Well, here I am. The house is sold subject to contract. We're, uh, we're in the process of sort of like clearing things out and doing that sort of stuff. Um, me and Mr. Bonneville aren't big at um, collecting lots of stuff. Um, we can be quite lethal with throwing things away and, and things like that. Uh, the, the lady that's actually bought our house, lovely, lovely young lady, um, she's on her own and she's a first time buyer. So um, we've left most of the furniture for her. So that's, that's great. But what we need to do now is to sort out our clothes. And I remember many years ago, Trini and Susanna used to say, if you haven't worn something in the last six months, you're not gonna wear it. So I'm gonna start clearing out all the stuff that I can't wear or what I can't fit into anymore. So if you join me on my discarding my clothes journey, I'm gonna bring all my clothes in from the wardrobe, dump them all on the bed, and then I'm just gonna go through the whole lot. going to be a big job. My plan is to try everything on and like I said if it fits brilliant and I like it great. If it doesn't fit then obviously it's going because let's face it I'm not going to lose two stone in the next few weeks so um, so that's it it's in the bin. So this is the first thing I'm not going to show you everything because we'll be here for hours but I forgot I got this and it is quite nice and it does fit. So I'm going to keep this one. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I keep trying things on and I'm just loving every jacket that I try. I'm only on the jackets at the moment. So, look at this lot here. Oh, does anybody want hundreds of coat hangers? Because I've got the boats here. Oh, I don't have to touch it. As long as I don't sneeze, cough, eat anything, or sit down. I think I'll be fine. Hands up who still calls it a disco and not a club. Check these out. <laughs> I don't know whether you can see, but the, the pile's getting a little bit lower. So I'll crack on. I've done it. Three hours, 20 minutes later. I needed to stop going down memory lane. So, I've got this, this great big bag. That's going to the charity shop. Also, let me just take this off here so you can see. I've got all these coat hangers, look. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've managed to, I've managed to just limit it down to my, um, Tops, hoodies and stuff, jeans, and jackets. Okay, so um, so clothes wise sorted. Now I'm going to start on my shoes and boots and stuff. So uh, I'll not bore you with all that. Um, but that's something else that's done that I can tick off my list. Now what I will ask is, because you out there who are watching this, your experienced boaters, you've gone through this. Um, send me some pictures of your storage. Um, I know every boat is different and so there's going to be different types of storage and stuff. Have you used those vacuum packs for your jumpers and your jackets and stuff? Has it worked? Um, when you stored them and got them out, are they okay? You know, any sort of storage ideas or, or what you've done with all your clothes will be great. Um, so I shall leave you for now. I'll probably be another three hours, 20 minutes sorting out my shoes and boots. <laughs> Luckily, Mr. B isn't around, so that's good. Okay, bye.
Uh, can I have a, a sausage McMuffin, please? What drink? Uh, an orange juice. Hey, what can I get for you? Yeah, can I take two sausage McMuffin meals, please? Two sausage, double sausage. Um, no, no just single, please. No drinks. Uh, orange juice, thank you. We go for them. Yes, please. You're in the cloud. That's fine, thanks. New send for me, please. Thanks. All right, bye bye. Here we are. Right, that is it. We're off to go and view some boats. Uh, we will see you next week. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, thumbs up and all that stuff. Mrs. Bonneville on social media. Say goodbye, Mrs. Bonneville. We'll see you next week. Bye, see you next week. Don't forget to tweet me and um, like me on Instagram and stuff. Just said all that. Bye. <laughs> Bye, see you next week. All I want to do is go... <laughs> <laughs> Ducks are braver than brave. Oh, God. Start this again. So I can't even speak. It's completely torn. Oh, where's your bum bag tail? Ah. Oh. You are recording. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? So switch it off or leave yeah, it on. Switch it off. Oh, is that the right? That's okay, isn't it? Yeah, it's still on. Darren's from Welsh. Darren's from Welsh. Darren's from Wales. He's very. <sighs> And we're actually going to Langothlin. Langothlin. Oh, start this again. <laughs> you probably won't put this in. Probably edit it and edit it out. Uh, so that's it, then.